I'm here alone on a paddle board in the Sea of Cortez. I couldn't be any happier. set up it is extremely windy putting a ground tent on the gravel wasn't that easy current situation gonna drink some amazing cabas cabo maciel wine boil some water it's a little <laughs> cookout spot so we're gonna open up a bottle of Via Lactea from Cava Maciel. Jorge Maciel is like one of my best friends in Ensenada and he was kind enough to give us like seven bottles for this road trip we're doing throughout Baja. If you've never been to Cava Maciel, it's in Valle de Guadalupe. It's a boutique winery, 3,200 cases is all he's doing. They're all celestial names. So Via Lactea is a Merlot and in this case it's a 2015. In my opinion, it's the best Merlot in Valle de Guadalupe. Not a lot of people are still making Merlots. If you've seen the movie Sideways, you would know why. <laughs> but Merlot is still a fantastic drink. And especially it goes better with Mexican food because it's got more pepper notes. I think it just mixes really well. So we're gonna open this guy up. You can't really tell, we're in front of the water right now, but it's pitch black outside and we just started this fire. <laughs> That's how the label looks. It's gonna be awesome. These things have been clutch because they're like stainless on the inside and yeah, so you put hot stuff, cold stuff. They actually have lids too. But for wine, this works great. And what we're realizing, I don't know if you can see my face, sorry, the headlamp, but the tide moves so much here in the Sea of Cortez. It retracts like crazy. And right now, like, this was probably 200 feet away. I don't know how well you can see. But it's already starting to come back. So, look at this. We're just right here. But I think we're good because we're high. We'll find out. We'll let you guys know in the morning how, how it works out. We're just getting up or I am. <laughs> Check out this view, this is insane. Not to our, all to ourselves, but still very secluded. Yesterday, it was insanely windy where we were literally debating if we were going to like even stay or like should we just move somewhere else. It was, we could hardly set up the tents. And I asked the local, hey, where's a place less windy? And he goes, oh, that's what keeps all the people out. We love the wind. I was like, ah, oh. he's right because this place would be completely packed if there was no wind. And it's nice like this. But right now it's 7 a.m. and the wind hasn't picked up yet. Hoping it doesn't today, but I assume it does every day. So I took the pedal board out to take advantage of this time. That's cold. <laughs>
we are going to go cruise around and or walk around and explore the other areas. Look at the water. <laughs> We just made it to the top of this spot. Is there a name for this place that you know? This point? Uh, Punta, this is Punta Gringa. Oh, okay, oh, yeah. Yeah. it's Punta Gringa, oh, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're at, we're camping at Punta Gringa, but this is the actual Punta, like the point. Incredible. It wasn't too hard, it took us, what, like about 20 minutes to get up here? Yeah. Going slow, crossing water, it's great. We are done with the hike now, which was really just right over here. That peak, that is Punto Gringa. And now, <laughs> Porque soy gringo, huh? Because I'm gringo, she said. Eating tuna fish sandwich with this amazing view. We are going to stay one more night and then head out tomorrow early. Something kind of weird, there's a lot of coyotes here. And I don't know if you've ever seen a coyote on a beach. I never have, I didn't know that existed. So I came here and they're really like familiar with people. So they come right up to you, but they could be dangerous. I don't know, they're, they come and they're trying to, people are probably feeding them. So they're really you know, accustomed to greeting people and they, they come right next to our campground. And around midnight last night we're sleeping and it's like they all were on a, you know, looking for food because they started howling and there was like 10 of them all within, I'd say 50 yards of the tent at, at the most. It was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. crazy. How was it? <laughs> so we just woke up from a little nap and these guys are right here in this thing. And they invited us to go learn how to go clamming. We're gonna go clamming with two strangers. <laughs> Should be fun. Here we go. Let's get some clams. Okay. Ooh, my first clam. It's a beauty. I don't know what his name's gonna be, but. You got a lot of clams there, dude? How many, is that thing full or what? No, it's like a bunch. Nice. Not full, but. Oh, we're good though. Current situation. And we also got some New York steaks. Uh, I'll probably gonna cook over the fire. And the best part, Cava Maciel wine. If you haven't realized by now, we've been drinking Cava Maciel wine. But Luño is a Mouvedre. And Mouvedre actually pairs well with seafood. It's a red wine, but it's kind of like a summer red that can be paired really nice with, with clams. So we are going to test it out. Aren't we, Jan? Test it out. Delicious. There's the coyotes in the background, that, that barking. So there's a lot of coyotes here, actually. Crazy. Let's cook this New York. Uh, 
Oh man, this is delicious. Look at this. Incredible, huh? We are done eating and probably gonna call it a night soon. It's kind of crazy, this coyote. We heard like walking in the gravel. We just heard gravel moving. And I turned the light on and literally like 15 feet from us, there was a coyote and you saw his like green eyes and like ran. So we cooked those steaks. And we probably smell amazing for him right now. And that's probably what we're gonna be doing with all night. We're gonna be hearing these coyotes walk around our tent. But besides the coyotes and the wind, this is the best place you could ever go camp. It's incredible. We are literally, well, it depends on the time of the day. At night, we're like 10 feet from the water. In the middle of the day, we're probably about 50 feet. If you guys ever have the chance to come, do it and go to Playa Gringa. Cause it's cool. Even the people that are here, there, there are other campers. We're the only ones doing like ground tents. Everyone else has a van or a motorhome. I highly recommend here if any of you guys ever want to come and I will try to update more in the morning after we wake up. Speaking about how awesome the neighbors and stuff are, they came and brought us dessert. I haven't even tried it yet, but I'm about to try it right now. Mm. Oh yeah, that's incredible. Wow, so cool. What a great, better than Uber Eats. In Bahia, Los Angeles, your neighbors will just bring you random stuff. Yes. ¿Qué? ¿Qué pasó? Ah, no mames. Is he drinking the Cabo Maciel again? Fucking yawn. Where is he? Yawn. Oh my god, dude. Yawn. Oh, did you get in the Cabo Maciel again? Oh, man, I was looking for a Milky Way and I. Town, Via Lactea, and I couldn't help it. Dude, we, this is why we're here, man. It's your rehab, dude. We said no more Cava Maciel. We drove nine hours to Bahia, Los Angeles. Cava How'd Maciel. you get Cava Maciel all the way out here? It's the best Cava Maciel everywhere in Baja. It's wow. great. Borracho. We are gonna head out from here. I recommend Playa La Gringa to anyone that ever wants to come here. Water's a little cold. There's a lot of birds if you're into birds. It's been amazing. There's no dirt, nothing. I, I love it here. We're gonna head out now to San Ignacio to go whale watching. It's the largest gray whale migration in the world. These whales start in Alaska and head down south and end up in Guerrero Negro and San Ignacio. We were told San Ignacio is the better spot to go see them. And apparently you go out on tours in these little pongas and you can touch the whales or they're jumping next to you. So that's gonna be incredible. So stay tuned for that video. And until then, take care.